is, and time management is basically self-management. Um, and one of the things that I recommend is having an excellent PDA or you know, day planner or whatever it is that you do to keep track of your schedule, your family's schedule, and then also your to-do list. Um, make a list of your priorities you know, and, and keep that list at hand, you know, look at it every day. Um, I, what I do is I write, I make a list of the six things that I need to do every day and I try to start with the hardest thing, because if you start with the hardest thing on your to-do list, then the rest will be easier from there. Um, work smarter, not harder. Um, delegate appropriately. And it's also helpful to keep a large calendar at home with all of your family's schedules, particularly if you have, you know, several people and all the, keeping track of everything. It's also important to be flexible, particularly when children are involved. Um, forgive yourself when things don't go as planned. Um, part of the time that's normal. Expect that things will not always go your way, especially if children are involved. Be flexible with assuming the unexpected. Um, you may need to substitute new goals and reevaluate your goals and change things up as you go. And negotiate for what you need. It's also important to enjoy quality family time. When you are with your family, focus all of your attention on your family. Um, turn off the cell phone. Um, listen actively to your spouse and children. Quality time can compensate for quantity. Develop rituals that you look forward to, like family dinners or family outings, if it's you know, going to a park. Um, make your family instrumental to your success, success not incidental to it. Um, also, it's important to find reliable child care. Um, find a caretaker with whom you feel comfortable. Children will sense, will sense your ambivalence, so resolve by finding a caretaker in whom you have complete confidence. Communicate frequently with the caretaker. Observe interactions between your child and the caretaker. Make sure the caretaker meets the needs of your schedule. Um, if you work after hours, then you know a normal program from you know six to six p.m. won't work. So you might need a nanny or a 24-hour daycare. Um, and finally, it's important to build a balanced, to live a balanced life. Your goal is an integrated life. Believe that it can be achieved. Keep things in perspective, and create harmony in your life—a blend of work, family, and friends. And just a little bit about um, the effect on, of balance on job performance. Family problems affect job performance. Family concerns are distracting and can affect business results. A happy employee is more productive and more committed employee. And workplaces need to be sensitive to the emotional needs of their workers. Um, it's important, again, to designate family time and protect it. Turn off the cell phone. And use your family time to restore and rejuvenate your energies. And turn every opportunity into an occasion to connect emotionally with the ones you love. So I hope those tips are helpful for balance. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Um.